Hey folks, it's Alex here for another episode. Um, so we are at a new project. I'm actually here with one of our contracting partners, Lee Polak from Vision Construction. And uh, we are going to be taking a look through this property. Now, I do warn you, it's a bit of a disaster, but do you remember in my one property when I said, if you're not sure about what things are going to cost, bring someone who knows what they're doing. They're going to be able to answer a lot of the questions for you that you might have in terms of what something costs. And this way, before you put an offer in on the property, you can actually get an idea of what something will cost. So check it out. They just remodeled the place. Yeah. It's all brand new fits and finishes. Uh, there they you just go. cleaned. Nice bottle of there you go you can take that home I'm sure they won't mind so let's talk a little bit about the plans here as we as we're going through because so ideally this property is a it's a single story raised bungalow here in Hamilton Mountain and it's in rough shape but our idea was to convert it to a two family dwelling unit and um, have the basement finished at the end of the day so we can rent it out right we're gonna do that legally with permits so we'll yep. go through the whole process right so Talk, tell us a little bit about what we do upstairs here. So first thing obviously is I would, uh, we gotta clean it out uh, from top to bottom. Um, essentially what I would do is, uh, I call it a lipstick reno. Mm -hmm. um, update your electrical, uh, so new pot lights in your uh, family room, living room, new pot lights in the kitchen. Um, but essentially just sort of take, take everything out, put everything new, but back in its original place. So. We'll remove the kitchen, we'll put a new kitchen in there, but we'll keep the plumbing existing, mm -hmm. keep the layout existing, new floors, uh, new all brand new millwork, uh, new doors. Um, you know, we can open things like this up, square it off a little bit higher, gives it that illusion that it's a taller ceiling. Yeah, for sure. Um, cut this back a little bit, square it off, open it up slightly. Uh, and then just continue forward with, you know, a new roll of pot lights here, brand new bathroom. Um, you know, get the new flooring down and then uh, paint her up and call it a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it looks very overwhelming when it's in this state, right? There's literally like we can't even get into the bedroom here. If you look, there's junk, and you try and push the door, and it's not going to open. So <clears throat> the places like this look very overwhelming, but at the end of the day, once you get the place cleared out, it's just you know the same thing: drywall, flooring, paint. Got to get it going. Well, obviously, we're going to check once all this crap's out of the way. We're going to check for things like mold and things like that. Once wet things are sitting on the drywall for a long time, it's going to create some mold. So we're obviously going to rectify a lot of those issues. But even here, like the back windows look like they're in great shape. Right? This house has great bones. Yeah. Got yeah. great bones. The floor's, the floor's solid. There's the other bedroom here. There's, uh, there's no different levels between the uh, rooms with the flooring. And like the flooring uh, does look like it's being chopped up and stuff, like in terms of like it's got it's got that wetness to it. It's damp. You can smell the mold and mildew, but once we get all the old stuff out, it's uh, we're, we're probably going to be working with a, a, a nice level surface. Yeah. Yeah. This bathroom's ready to be used. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now let's uh, let's try and work our way into the basement because the basement right now is unfinished space and the. Um, it also has an oil furnace, and so there's no gas actually coming to this house. So a quick tip, if you can start any processes that are uh, that take a long time, like committee of adjustments, um, getting utilities brought into a house, if you can start that process before you've actually taken possession, you can gain some awesome time where you're not actually paying any of the holding fees. So we might be... a uh, SOL here, buddy. <laughs> this is about as far as we can go. Yeah. So if you look, we've got a bit of a garbage dam that we have to get through. But I did trench my way over there so I can make it into the furnace. Room. Just be careful. It's crazy in these houses, you're actually stepping on garbage the entire time you're walking. Oh, wow. Be careful. But what's really nice here is we have some awesome ceiling height. Like, I'm not the tallest person, but my hand's all the way up in the air right now. I'm still not touching and I'm holding this little device. But you see, we got big windows here, a lot of natural light coming in. So we'll have uh, awesome opportunities for uh, for egress. Shouldn't be a problem. And even under the, the main support column, we'll have enough height um, that they'll allow it without any sort of variance. Okay. 
here's the panel here. So when you're running, uh, when you're running your numbers in your head right now, Lee, what kind of things are you thinking about in terms of costs? Like you, I'm sure you have like your set, like, okay, kitchen costs X amount of money, a bathroom X right. amount of money, right? So basement's a full, um, hundred percent full gut and, mm-hmm. uh, a brand new full renovation. So all new lumber, all new, uh, mm-hmm. insulation, everything that that's involved with, uh, with, with building something from, from scratch. Um, labor wise, I like to put something like that in the, uh, 25 range, okay. 25 to 30, depending on square footage. Um, and then all your materials as well. So For sure. potentially add another 15 to $20,000 in materials, uh, mm-hmm. including your kitchen, your appliances and stuff. For the upstairs would be slightly less if we're leaving all the existing walls and ceilings. You're probably in the again twenty k range, eighteen to twenty thousand dollar range for that. Perfect. So if if you're you know even as we're just adding up the numbers here, so even if we say fifty thousand for the basement, um, let's say twenty five thousand for the upstairs, you're at seventy five thousand dollars. This is where you you know you can add your fifteen percent contingency, and you can start to get an idea of okay like. If we can do this for seventy-five thousand, let's watch that budget. But I'm going to add a little bit of an extra little buffer in here, just in case things go awry. We can uh, we can still recoup some of the costs and not have to blow our budget, right? So this is all in part of calculating your, you know, your maximal allowable offer on a property, so that you don't overpay. Join us on another episode. We'll let you guys know how this one turns out. But uh, if you uh, if you guys ever want to reach out to Lee, I'm going to put his uh, his contact information below here. So feel free to reach out to him. He's a great resource. Cheers. Thanks, guys.